I'm the manager of Gamers 2. And uh, well, to begin, I, I will I would love to, to say thank you, you know, to all the people who make uh, this happen. For me, it's, it's like a, a dream come true. About the manager, you know, it's uh, the manager of the of the gaming. It's uh, for me, it's very important, and I think uh, for the for the people, it's very important because it's all based on the information. Because uh, the manager needs to to be in all all the forums, uh, checking all the the profiles of the enemies, uh, talking with the other managers. Because uh, to build a very good idea and to build a very good work to, to face them, it's the, the most important thing. We really need to give the, the best weapons to our players to, to go to the battle and, and win it, you know, because it's all about mm, the victory. Calling it Rager is, is, not, is not right, you know. I think everybody on the team tends to uh, be so disappointed with himself when he doesn't perform, me the first. Um, but it, it, it does. We don't show it externally, you know. We most likely keep it internally. But we at the same time feel that somebody, uh, somebody else is raging internally. So we try to help him. So the good thing of this is that at the beginning everybody was pretty much with the wrong mindset, me included actually. Um, we were too used to blame each other in a team. I wanted nobody to blame anybody. I wanted everybody to be helpful with each other. And if somebody fails, somebody else is helping that guy to get better, you know. So that's actually the philosophy we tried to put into the team from the very beginning. But right now everybody's extremely used to it and it just happens by default. So somebody fails, the other four guys plus the manager are gonna go there and try to help him. So there is no weak link. About the daily training life, uh, I want to I wanted to to say something about the the, the gamer's life. You know, the common idea of the gamer is uh, enjoy the life. Maybe enjoy the life working, but uh, 80 percent of the, the time of a gamer needs to be employed in the gaming. When you're playing uh, two or three or four hours, it's okay, you enjoy it. But uh, you also need to play when you're not uh, happy, when you don't uh, have the the mentality to work. They spend nine or ten hours a day. Makes makes me so proud of them. You know, they really work for their dream. And in the mornings we usually play solo queue and or solo queue, and in the afternoon we also, uh, we usually train against other teams. It's called scream, and that's how we work. Actually, um, our experience training against teams is very unique because we we actually enjoy more playing against challenger teams because because the the, the screams are sort of more serious. So at the end every Every scream against them is so helpful, um, but against LCS teams, sometimes, I mean, it, I would say it clearly, sometimes we just don't have fun at all. It's just, it's very boring because they don't play, they don't take it as serious. Maybe you could say they don't take it as serious, maybe you could say they're maybe not good enough. I don't know what it is, but against most LCS, LCS teams, it just happens that we don't enjoy the screams. The mentality and the way of uh, working they had in the previous team had changed. Because uh, Gamers 2 is not only a business or a company, it's a way of living and a way of understanding the gaming. So uh, we are very proud of this, that the players uh, now understand the, the way of working and to, to be tough and be proud of, uh, of it in another way. So uh, when we came here like four months ago, uh, we, are, we were all new, we started to know each other. When we started in the beginning, we, were, we, ha we had no identity, but it's normal because we, we didn't play together. But now we, we are gamers too. We can say it a lot. We are gamers too, you know, we have an identity. It's only about time that uh, we will reach the top and we will reach our dreams and we will be playing against the, the best and we will be beating them. Outside the game with picks and bans, we try to, all of us, um, from the information Luis gives us, we try to um, study our lane opponent, our jungle opponent, whatever. And so we tell our team what we don't want to play against, what would be a good pick against them and so on. So at the end, we think as five brains plus the manager, which is much better than individually, you know. And inside the game, um, I would say the meta swaps very fast. So 
right now that the meta is, is, is really very early game calls and rotations early game, um, I would say Diud does very good those calls because Diud is very smart. But when it comes down to crucial moments, I do every call. The crucial moments when when everybody's a bit hesitating, I do the call. Or um, you know, Diud takes all the timers every single timer, and I'm all the time asking when is Drake, when is red, when is blue, whatever. And I try to keep track of it to make a, a good call. Also, Morden has very good ideas, but he's not constant. You know, he has very, very original ideas and very creative ideas, and he has he has them during all the game. But it's not something you can rely on because he doesn't work on it reliably. But he always brings out something very, very cool. Also, Jay Wow has very good calls with his own TPs, teleports, and at the end, everybody is sort of making calls. But yeah. The crucial calls are made, are made by me, the rotation early game calls are made by Dude. I'm pure late game, the rotation late game and mid game is Dude and me as well.